vision. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back everybody to The Walking Dead. My name is Alexton, and we're going to get started today in episode 26 of The Walking Dead. I'm super excited because, uh, as I mentioned the last episode, we probably would have done something related to going back into the city or creating this big army and trying to take over that city. But sadly enough, that's not going to happen because I don't have the strength or group yet. And they're also working on the option to have the clan. You know, it was working in the beginning, but they said that it gets deleted after two... Uh, or a day or about two hours I'm not sure how it works but I know that it gets deleted so the clan thing is still in a development it's still being fixed so till then we're gonna actually continue looting around and walking around and seeing what's going on so um, I'm not in the same area because I did die but uh, the cool thing I have to mention is that the owner of the server Andrew you guys may know him by has given me the kits that I could use we have some brand new kits as you can see we have assault scout heavy runner medic Cook, Builder, Assassin, Ghost, Bane, Hoarder, and Turbo. So, uh, yeah, those are a lot of kits that we're going to be testing out once in a while when we get a chance. And, uh, yeah, as you can see in my inventory currently right now, I do have a lot of crazy ammo, a lot of cool guns, a lot of cool uh, things that you guys may have never seen really too often in my inventory. Well, that's because I did test out a few of the kits, so it's pretty cool, and I'm really happy about the kits. Uh, they do work very well, and uh, oh, there's a zombie right here. We're going to take him out. Don't worry, guys. We're not going to die to one zombie. Like, seeing a normal zombie doesn't even scare me anymore. Uh, but I got some cool plans. Trust me, guys. I have a lot of cool plans for this series. Uh, one thing is that we're probably going to be adding a few more members once we get that clan to work uh once we get that thing to work it's gonna be absolutely amazing so yeah we're gonna get out of here because uh there seems like there's a pathway over here and it seems like it's a a pretty cool little shelter area so we're gonna go up to this little uh tree house whatever you guys want to call it and we're gonna scout that house make sure there's no one in there and we're gonna make sure it's all safe and good to go so uh, hmm, i wish i had a do I have anything that I can zoom in with? Yes, we do. So if I go like this, I add this gun, and I add ourselves our 6 times scope. There we go. Sweet. So let's go zoom in over there and see if there's anyone that we can find that's in this danger zone. Uh, there seems to be a lot of walkers. So uh, that's kind of uh, not the biggest threat, but it is a little bit dangerous because... There's been a lot more of them lately, guys. If you guys have been playing The Walking Dead yourselves, you guys probably have noticed that there's been a lot more walkers and, and just a group of them just being together and a lot more spawning around the areas. And that's actually what I've been picking up on, and there's a guy right over there. Uh, I'm not going to try to kill him, but for sure, there's a lot more zombies, and I'm a little bit worried. This guy could be a threat to us, but uh, it looks like he just went inside, and he took some shelter. Um, I'm kind of going to protect him, I guess. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, we just got hit by a zombie there. I hope he's not going to attack me, but did he die? No, he didn't. He's in here. Um, but I'm not going to kill him because I'm not that type of person. I kind of changed along through the episodes. You know, I'm feeling like I should be a little bit more helpful than anything. So we're going to go in this direction. Hopefully, it's going to lead up to something good. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, now this island, guys, warning, has a lot of zombies, all right? Uh, I'm going to tell you this one thing. That the zombies here are pretty much intense. Uh, oh, okay, watch out. Watch out. There's a zombie right there. All right, so let's get this place settled out here. Um, to the bunker. Oh, there's people saying that there's bunkers and taking prisoners. All right, we'll probably go there. All right, let me go and take out these zombies if before they kill us. All right, so let me see if this gun has any ammo. Reload. Uh, no ammo on this gun. No ammo on this gun. Let's check out this gun if it has anything. Because I do want to have a backup emergency gun if anything goes wrong in that section. Reload. Nothing. We're actually doing pretty bad on ammo right now. Let's check this gun out. Reload this one. Nothing. Wow, we're actually doing pretty bad on ammo here, guys. Uh, so we got to definitely find ourselves some type of ammo soon. Uh, this has nothing. Can we reload? Nope. All right, let's check out one of these guns. Let's hope that these little guns are going to do something for us. Nothing in this one. Alright, I'll check out this little one right here. Nope. 
All right, so we're doing pretty bad on ammo. So that's something that I'm actually very worried about. But we do have a hatchet for ourselves to plow through it and uh, I guess keep ourselves safe. And, and we're not going to really waste any more ammo because I don't want to continue using the kits. But I know for sure this place is overrun by walkers. So my plan is to get across this bridge and go take out as many of these walkers as possible without anyone really picking up the fact that we're here. So let me do dash near and see if there's anyone nearby. Not really to our dangerous threat. I'm going to clean this rag just in case we need to get ourselves a bandage. Now, this is what I'm talking about, guys. There is a lot of zombies here, or walkers, uh, so we're gonna take them out one by one because I, I kind of find them as a threat, in my opinion. So, let's take them out. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of ammo, though. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this. There's only two bullets left. Uh, I'm not really doing too good on ammo. So, I'm gonna slowly take one by one out and hope for the best, and we got ourselves to eat now. We gotta eat right now, or this is pretty bad. Alright, so we're going to eat up. We're really not doing too good on inventory, so I might have to use a kit to check out how it's going. Uh, hopefully, we can just see if there's anything around here. Any loots, because, guys, I'm telling you one thing, that this series is going to get much more evolved, much more developed over time. I promise you guys this, because we're going to be doing a lot of new things, because they have a cool upgrade that's going to be happening soon. I think it's like, I don't know what upgrade it is, but it's going to be awesome. There's going to be a type of vehicle. It's going to be almost like a bike, or something that we can use to travel a lot faster. There's going to be a lot of new kits, like uh, camouflage gear that actually tears apart after a certain amount of time with zombies or walkers attacking you. So, one thing I can tell you is that this series is not going to get anywhere from being done. It's just going to get better and better, and I want to know what you guys think about it. So, I'm going to continue taking out these walkers, because uh, I feel like this is a pretty cool area. I mean, there's a bridge, not too many people will come by, and if they come by, it most likely... Oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay, that's bad. See, this is what I mean, this is what I mean. You find walkers everywhere. So, we're going to use the rag, just perfect timing. Alright, sweet. Alright, we're pretty good now. We got our rag going. We're not losing too much blood, but there are a lot of zombies around here, and we don't really have anything to use to attack them with besides any gun. We barely have any ammo, so we're going to use our first kit ever in our 26th episode of The Walking Dead. So let's get going, guys, on it. I'm going... Oh god, I should have not done that, shouldn't I? Okay, well, that's not good. Let's go get to the top of the hill, and hopefully we can find ourselves a little area. Oh, is that a person over there? Yes. Oh boy, that's a person over there. We gotta run. He's gonna snipe us down. Alright, hopefully he doesn't do that. Alright, now we're in a dangerous threat, obviously, and he's shooting me down, and we died. Okay, well, you know what? We weren't in the best of conditions, to be honest, so we're not gonna really worry about it as much, but the best part is now we're gonna get to start fresh with the new kit. So we're gonna go dash kit, and uh, we're gonna get the turbo kit. Now, I find the turbo kit to be awesome, and look at that, guys! Right next to a cool apartment building. Oh, sweet. Alright, so let's go dash kit turbo. So I heard this turbo kit is pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna test it out ourselves. We're gonna reload get everything settled up I love the reloading sound. It's absolutely awesome But look at this kit guys you got everything from a samurai sword to a good gun to a nice uh, holographic sight uh, Another gun as well, which is pretty cool because you get two guns You know a little pistol for like maybe checking out the area not really using it too often uh, Which is really awesome You got ammo for that gun as well. We don't have any ammo for this. It's only one time use I guess but we're going to set up this gun really well. We're going to actually put a suppressor, and we're actually going to get ourselves our holographic sight. And now we're pretty much all set to go. We got ourselves our samurai, our bandage, and we got ourselves our backpack, which we're going to put on, obviously. There we go. And uh, also, something that's really cool I wanted to mention is that now there are supply drops. There are crates that have been dropped out of random around the world, I guess. And what you can do is if you're close enough, you can actually go check it out and maybe even grab and see what there is. So, there's a lot of people around here and I just got attacked by a walker. Uh, oh my god, this is what I mean, guys. As you guys are noticing right now, look how many walkers there are. This is absolutely crazy. We're going to have to get out of here right now. Alright, this is way too much. This is absolutely intense. I don't know how anyone is going around this uh, city life. It just seems like there's more and more walkers, which is something I really like. And I think they should not make it less walkers because... Or I don't even know how to say it. There should not be less walkers than they are now. There should be more because it's really awesome. And uh, I believe this is the big city as well. But guys, look at all these walkers that are just all over this hill. Like, I don't know how you guys expect me to get around this easily. But uh, I'll tell you one thing, it's really intense. Also, the supply drop crates are incoming around here. Not around here, actually. Um, I wish we had a GPS. We have to find one because that's going to help us out to get to the coordinates faster. But for now, we're going to go inside this apartment building. Now, this place is huge. It's full of probably people, and there's a lot of walkers right here. Wow, this is really intense. They're really slowing us down here. Oh, but look at this, guys. Check this out. What is this? 
This looks like it's either a shop or it's a bunker, guys. Oh, this is sweet. All right, this gets better and better. So this is a bunker. Uh, what this means is basically it's like a prison, but it's not. It's an area where people go for shelter. Uh, there's still a lot of bad people and bandits there. But dash near, I'm going to say that uh, piece if you see me coming in hot near the bunkers. All right, uh, hopefully they saw that. I probably uh, misspelled a few things, so I was rushing it. But we're coming in hot, guys. Uh, we got to get the heck in here because uh, hopefully there's no one in here. But if they do notice me here, I'm peace. I'm a peace. I'm a peace person, so it's all good. It's all good. I hope there's no one here that's bad. All right, so we can actually take this for ourselves and actually make it a secure location. Now, I'm looking around. Okay, we're just going to go in, um, and hopefully they die over there. Ah, the barbar is not doing much. Actually, it's doing a good amount. It's just like a one-hit kill. Not even. Um, I'd run. Oh, boy. This place is overrun. Um, oh, wow. This place is really getting overrun by a lot of zombies here. Walkers, we're going to call them. I keep saying zombies. So, this is actually pretty cool. We're basically taking down this big bunker. Now, this is a home. And down there, it's a bunker, bunker basically, that goes deep, deep down in the ground, which is something pretty cool. I like it a lot. I think it's cool. So, I want to go and do dash near one more time. Is there anyone that's really threatening me in distance? Yes, there is. Okay, well, uh, this is not safe. I don't know if they're at peace with me, but the thing is, we're going to have to get the high ground. We're going to have to blend in with the zombies here, with the walkers. I keep saying zombies. We're going to have to try to blend in and take one by one out of here and uh, try to basically camouflage ourselves in here. And probably, the best part is that we can probably get ourselves to maybe overrun it with zombies. So we're gonna try and bring all these zombies, carry them through, oh boy, okay, we're getting shot at. We're gonna get the heck out of here. I told them on peace, but we gotta get ourselves some shelter here. All right, so let's get over here, see if we have a bandage of such, no we don't. Dash, kit, medic, we're gonna have to use it. We need this medical kit right now. Um, this is for emergencies, guys. I usually do it, but, not, I usually don't do it, but when I have to, I need to, so, um, all right. What is going around here? Nothing really, uh, I don't really like this. This is kind of too dangerous for me. But this is going to be something that we're going to be working around in the episodes and the future episodes too. I'm not going to get far from here because this is an area that we need to stay around and kind of secure it. Because I feel like if we get ourselves a nice team going, this could be a perfect area just to control, clean it out, no zombies, put bear, uh, I guess barbed wire all around it, and really make this a place that's going to be a strong empire, guys. We can make it like the prison from the AMC TV series. Uh, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment sections. Honestly, I want to know. I really do want to get your idea of what this place could become. And if you guys want to join my clan, I'm actually going to be making a pretty decent side clan. Uh, now that's the big freaking, uh, I guess, city life that we're going to go and try and see what we can do here. Uh, I don't want to get too known that I'm around here, but there's a lot going on. As you guys can see, this is a big map, a lot of apartment buildings, and because of that, there's probably a lot of bandits, a lot of scavenger people, and a lot of dangerous people as well. Now, there's a big hole in there, so I want to go figure out what that hole is. I mean, it could have been where a big, I don't even know what this could be, an avalanche that happened of some sorts. But it looks pretty cool, and I'm tempted to go check it out. Yeah, it looks like some type of explosion occurred over there. Uh, but let's do dash near, see if there's anyone nearby. Um, there are a few people, but... I don't, a lot of them here are not really peaceful, to be honest. That looks like it's a zombie, yeah. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna go in the hospital. I mean, we did get a med kit, but I'd rather go in the hospital and just kind of keep ourselves safe from all the dangers here. So, I think we can jump this. Yes, we can. Alright, sweet. So, we're in the hospital, and we're getting, oh, I thought we were getting shot at. Okay, good. We're gonna loot out this hospital. We're gonna get our backpack ready. We're gonna open it, and we're gonna store some of our med kit here. So, that should be pretty good. All right, we're going to get our gun ready because I feel like if there's anyone in here, they're going to be threatened to killing us. And I don't want to get killed at all because we're in a pretty good location. Um, so I want to make sure we stay safe around here. All right, we got a clean rag. This is really good. All right, so let's keep walking around and checking out what we got. Ron Pear, not really to my standards. I really don't want to eat Ron food. I'm a fox. I need some meat. Uh, but we got to check this place out. I got to make sure we're safe. Zombies at the door. Not too threatened by that. I'm threatened more by the people, to be, uh, be honest. 
I'm threatened more by the people. That's kind of a sad thing to say, but the people here are very vicious. You know, sometimes I'm vicious too. Like, when I see someone, I'm always precautious about what's going on. I'm always watching my territory. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's what a fox does sometimes. You know, it's a little bit of an attackful animal. Predator, I guess. Uh, you will die. Well, we're not dying right now, and we're getting some good loots here. So we got a lot of uh, morphine, a lot of good medical gear that we do need for the runs, you know, when we're fighting people and zombies. And there's a pig. That's actually a new thing. I noticed that there's more pigs here, uh, which kind of, mm, I don't know if it makes sense. I mean, it could make sense. Like a farm has been gotten overrun by zombies and the pigs are going crazy. I don't know if that's a thing, but uh, it could happen. It could happen. So this place looks pretty safe. I'm actually really happy that we got this place kind of secured and sheltered out for us. Now, this is really needed. A makeshift splint. What this does is if you break your legs and you don't have any morphine, in this case, we do have morphine. But if we didn't have morphine, we would need some type of uh, mechanism that we can actually use to help us walk. So that's a really helpful thing. So this is a good top view. Um, I'm going to show you guys where this is located as you guys remember in the last episode we were in the city and we're back in the city so we didn't really go too far out uh but this is pretty cool because we got ourselves a top view i don't know what happened there all right guys we're back uh what happened was actually the server had a restart so that's why i was wondering why this loot was not being picked up but there we go we got food we eat a lot of food we barely have any food uh a wind stick we're gonna keep that wind stick for just moments of enjoyment just to have but look at all those new buildings as well there's a few new buildings i want to point out and this bridge guys you got to tell me this bridge is pretty cool looking and this is a perfect area just to clear out the area snipe down some people and keep shelter for the next episode so in the next episode guys i promise you guys we're gonna clear out this area we're really gonna show our dominance in this world and hopefully you guys can join in and if you guys see me on the server you're welcome to say hi talk to me and uh there is a person over there but i'm not gonna kill him but yeah you're welcome to say hi uh and i'll be probably adding people to my clan as soon as possible but i'll be up here please don't kill me if you guys see me on the server but if you guys want to kill me then uh you know Keep in mind that I'll be coming back at you. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Walking Dead. Make sure you guys hit that like button. I promise you guys more of The Walking Dead is coming. And I got a lot of cool new series coming along as well. And look at that. Across the bay is that other apartment building we checked out in the last episode. But this is really cool, guys. We're setting our ter territory around here. We got a cool idea of where we are. And we got a good high vision here. So we're pretty safe. We're pretty good right now. High land. Um, and we're gonna create a clan soon in the future episodes. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Alex, and stay foxy, guys. Leave a like, share, and if you guys are new to this, make sure you guys subscribe. Peace out, guys. See you later. What's your vision?